Let's make the September Infinity Scarf. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make my September Infinity Scarf. This thing is beautiful. The yarn is just stunning, but you can really deviate and use whatever color yarn that you want to use. I really liked this scarf because it was flowy and comfortable and cozy, something you would want to snuggle up with. The stitches are nice and airy, and I really just appreciated how this makes me feel in the fall. If at any point in this video you do like what you see or you are really enjoying the content, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and select all. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways, so much more. You are not going to want to miss out. Also, check out my Instagram. That way you can see all the behind the scenes planning and everything that I'm doing in the planning process of all of my videos. It's a lot of fun and it gives you a sneak peek of what's happening next. All right, so the pattern for the September Infinity Scarf you can find in the description section or the comment section below this video. All you have to do is click on that link, purchase the pattern and print it off. This pattern is easy enough where you could really just follow along with me in the video and be good to go. The pattern is just nice to have if you like to follow along or want to keep the pattern for another day when you can just make as many of these September infinity scarfs as your heart desires. All right, so when you are ready to go, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials I used to make this September Infinity Scarf. All right, so the materials that you're going to need for the September Infinity Scarf will include a size five weight or bulky, chunky size yarn, which is also known as a 12 to 14 ply or five six WPI sized yarn. You can use whatever yarn you want to for this project if you can't get your hands on this exact color. What I used was Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bee Dream Spun in the color September Sunset. So I actually used two skeins of this particular yarn or if you are needing to use a different yarn or want to use a different yarn, it's just approximately 152 yards of yarn, 140 meters of yarn, 200 grams of yarn, or seven ounces of yarn to accomplish this infinity scarf, okay? So you'll need that yarn. You'll need a crochet hook, size 15 millimeter crochet hook. There we go. I used this wood one because that was the easiest one for me to find. I really liked using a large crochet hook with this yarn to make the pattern more flowy, drapey, and more comfortable to wear. You'll want a pair of scissors and a yarn needle or tapestry needle to weave in those ends at the end of the project. I will include a link to everything you see here in the description section and comment section below this video. So if you need help getting your hands on any of these materials, all you have to do is click on that link to purchase that that particular item and get your hands on it. But if you have everything you need, let's go ahead and dive right into how to make the September Infinity Scarf. To work the September Infinity Scarf, all we are doing is making the double V crochet stitch. This pattern is worked in a multiple of two plus two for the foundation row chain. So we begin by starting with a tail long enough for us to weave in our ends at the end of the project, create our slip knot, Attach our crochet hook. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and we are ready to begin. All right, we will start by chaining 14 chains. One, two, three, four, 13, and 14. Perfect. All right, for row one, we will make two double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our V stitches, we'll count one, two, three, four. In that fourth chain, we will make two double crochet stitches. And I'll even take my pinky just to create some tension here and make it easier to work in that chain. One and two. 
two. Perfect. Okay, so the whole point of us using a really big crochet hook is to help aid us in making looser stitches. So if you still struggle with making really tight stitches, try to be mindful here. We want the stitches to be really loose to allow us to have a more comfortable, drapey look and feel to our infinity scarf. Okay, so we're going to skip the next chain, find the following chain, and make two double crochet stitches in that chain. One, two, perfect. And that is the repeat pattern across row one. We're going to skip one chain and make two double crochet stitches in the following chain all the way across. I will meet you at the end of row one to show you what we do next. All right, and at the end of row one, we just make one double crochet stitch in the last chain to close off row one. Go ahead and do that real quick. Oops, I dropped it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down so we can really see what row one looks like. You should be able to see those V stitches at this point, which look really cool. And you'll be able to tell the edges or sides of our work are squared off. And that is what we want. That is good. Perfect. Let's move on to row two. For row two, we will chain three, one, two, three. We will turn our work. That chain three does count as your very first double crochet stitch and we'll take the space of that first stitch space right there. Okay, so we're going to skip the next space and actually on the inside of that V, so if I put my crochet hook down, stretch out my work here, find the V stitch from the row below. I'm going to make two double crochet stitches in the middle of that V. So I'm gonna go around that stitch here. Let me show you. So I'm going to find that V. I'm going to yarn over, insert my crochet hook in the middle of that V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then do that again so yarn over, insert crochet hook in the middle of that V here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And what that does is it actually brings about the appearance that it is a chain link sort of, or it's a V within a V within a V, kind of like ice cream cones, how they just stack inside of each other. And that is the pattern and how it will look. Okay, and then we continue on for the rest of row two. I'm going to find my next V. Where is my next V? Here it is. And I'm going to make two double crochet stitches inside the middle of that V. So if you want, you can even take your fingers to help you visually see what's going on. Insert your crochet hook between those two double crochet stitches. And double crochet one and double crochet two. Perfect, find my next V stitch. There it is, two double crochets. One and two, perfect. So just repeat this process all the way across for row two. I will meet you at the end of row two to show you how we close this row. All right, to end row two, we find that chain three from the row before, and we are going to make one double crochet stitch in the third chain. So go ahead and yarn over, top chain here, make one double crochet stitch, and that helps to make that row squared off. Boom, just like that. Oh, it's looking so great, look at your links. Aren't they cool? Oh, they're so awesome. All right, so the rest of this pattern, row three through the end of row 36, you are just going to repeat everything we did in row two. You will start by chaining three, one, two, three. You will turn your work, and then you will look for that V stitch from the row before, and make your two double crochet stitches in the middle of that V. One, 
two and then find the next V there you are and one two perfect all right so just repeat this process all the way across and then all the way up through the end of row 36 to count your rows if you're a little curious or unsure how to do that i stretch out my work in the middle of the work and i look for my v's and i count okay one two and i just count my v's all the way up the straight line because they should all be interlinked right so just count your v's and that's how you can easily count your rows all the way through the end of row 36 so go ahead and continue on and i will meet you at the end of row 36 to show you what we do next with the twist and join okay great we have just made it to the end of row 36 so what i want you to do now is i want you to lay your scarf flat on a table so just take the whole thing I'm even gonna just fold it up. So we want it all just completely flat on your table. Perfect. Okay, so come back to the end here. I'm going to chain one. And then when I go to turn my work to start working on this side of the work, make sure that you can see what's going on. So I chained one and I turned my work. So now it would look or appear that I was continuing the work on this side. What I wanna do, so I'm laying it flat so you can see, flat, flat, flat. I'm just kind of ruffling it so you can see it's flat, flat, flat. Okay, the other end, the opposite end of our scarf. I want you to twist it, just one twist. Okay, that's it. Lay it down flat so the two ends, one, one end is laying on top of the other end. And then we're going to slip stitch these two ends together. So go into the first stitch space on this side, come through the first stitch space on the other side move that to this side so you can kind of see what's going on here yarn over pull that yarn through both sides of the work there we go so there's two loops on your crochet hook and then I'm going to take the first loop I'll pull the loop through that loop on my crochet hook so there is only one loop on my crochet hook all right let's do that again okay so find the second stitch on side one, find the second stitch on side two, yarn over, pull that yarn through both sides, and then continue to pull that loop through the loop on your crochet hook for a slip stitch. All right, that is all we are doing is slip stitching these two sides together. And I will meet you at the end to help you tie off your work and then your infinity scarf is done it's complete all right last slip stitch here and that there joins the two sides together and then we take our scissors cut a long enough tail for us to weave in our ends at the end of the project yarn over that tail pull that tail through the loop on our crochet hook pull tight and you have just tied off your work and finished your infinity scarf. Next, you would turn that side inside out so you can see a nice clean side and your infinity scarf is done. If you lay it flat, there we go. You should be able to see that there is only one twist in your scarf and that is part of that infinity, infinity shape right there that we would get. Hence, infinity scarf. There you go.
right, so what did you think of the September Infinity Scarf? I hope you found it easy enough to follow and that you really enjoyed this project. It makes for great gifts and it is also a perfect piece for you to make yourself as an accessory this fall. I hope you had so much fun. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.